All right, Stan, 80 to 76 win over Pacific. Uh, opening statement about the game and getting the guys back on the court. Yeah, number one, it was great to be back, um, you know, out of our pause. Um, really proud of my team tonight. We beat a really, really good team. Uh, they're well coached. Uh, that's a team that has a system and an identity. Um, they're one of the toughest teams in the league. And to respond the way we responded, um, you know, it shows us what we're building in terms of our culture. That was a culture win. And I'm, I'm really proud of our guys. We, we had so many opportunities to collapse and, and maybe call it in. And, uh, you know, we're down 14 with nine minutes left. And that was as good as response as we've had all year. And that's encouraging, especially coming off, uh, you know, however many days we've been gone. Uh, but proud of our team. That was a co collective win. Everybody stepped in. Uh, offensively, you know, in the first half, I thought we were dynamic and our guys really followed the game plan. Uh, so great win, a uh, good way to get back. Um, but like in any good league, uh, the next game is coming up soon and that's going to be tough too. Uh, Elm, you opened the game 10 for 11 shooting. What was going well at the start? Well, I thought number one, we took care of the ball. And again, you know, our turnovers have been going the right way over the last three games. You know, we had nine turnovers. We had one in the first half. And if we don't turn the ball over, we're going to get a good shot. And I thought we we got great shots. We got shots at the rim. The threes we made were in inside out. And, um, you know, we executed um, the things that we talked about going into the game plan. Uh, how important was Joe hitting those two threes to spark that run, that comeback? Well, anything was important at that time. You know, we were, we were dead. And uh, we had uh, no juice. And we didn't have a lot of mojo going on offense. And Joe's threes all year have been timely. And that's that's how important Joe is to us. Um, you know, when he does that, we're, we're, we're a different basketball team. But he hit some monster shots. And that, that gave us life and some belief uh, to get back on our horse. And coming out of that half, you know, they went on that, that quick 21 to 2 run. What, what, is that what, what it was? That's what it was. 21 to 2, okay. Good. What was it that was able to stop that and get you guys a, a couple good looks? At well, the I, you know, they they, they made a, a, a heck of a run. That's what good teams do. Um, but I did think at that run, we were getting good shots. I think we were one for 11 in that stretch. And I'll have to watch the film tonight. But, you know, out of the 11 shots, I would say seven of them were good shots. And, and sometimes you, you, it's a make or miss game. And we missed. What I didn't like, though, in that stretch, our defense – uh, was not where it needs to be, where it needed to be. And that's the thing with us. We, we can't rely on our offense. The defense is what's going to carry us through. And um, that that part I was disappointed in. But um, again, we showed a lot of fight and, you know, we answered when we needed to. And talk a little bit about Jalen Anderson, nine to one assisted turnovers tonight. Yeah. I mean, again, you look at his assists over the last three games, that's kind of where he's been. And it's, he's going to be that kind of player. What a career he's going to have and what a team we're going to have, right? Uh, he was he was terrific. Um, you know, he continues to grow. I think he's gaining confidence. I think he's getting his legs. I thought Jalen went through a stretch there, and all freshmen go through it, where you kind of hit a lull, and he's starting to find his way out of it. In that last minute, you know, winning a game and closing out is tough. How important was the free throws, and especially Kelly's offensive rebound? Crucial. You know, Kelly is a winner. You know, we do a thing where, you know, our whole thing has been break the chain and create a new chain. And the chain that we're creating is the chain of excellence here at LMU. So we we always have the guy at the end of the game who was the most valuable player connect the chain. And we gave that to Kelly today because the free throws down the stretch, the offensive rebound down the stretch, those are winning plays. That kid is as big a winner as I've seen and been around in all my years of coaching, I love having all our team because the stuff he does sometimes don't show up in the stat sheet. Uh, so I'm not surprised he, he is what he is. He's a hell of a basketball player.